back to the phone lines. One talk to Drew in Fresno, California. Hi, Drew. Hi, Hank. Uh, I really appreciate your ministry. Uh, Listen to you for years, and I just wanted to say, you know, thank the Lord for everything that you've done and you're doing. You've just given me so much information. Uh, the question that I had was, in the last days, is the Antichrist going to be an actual person, a man on Earth who's going to be born and and you know uh, do you know do all the things that sit in the seat and, and mock God and all that? Is that going to be a person? who's born on the earth as a human, or is it just the, the Antichrist spirit that's, you know, like Revelation talks about? Well, Revelation never talks about Antichrist, although Revelation does talk about the beast. John exposed the identity of Antichrist when he wrote, who is the liar? It is the man who denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a man is the Antichrist. He denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. And then, if you skip over to the second epistle of John, he gives a similar warning. He says, many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh have gone out into the world. Any such person is the deceiver and the Antichrist. So, I think based on what the Apostle John taught us, Antichrist can be either an individual or an institution. Anyone denying that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is Antichrist, whether, again, an individual or a group of individuals in an institution like a modern-day cult or a world religion or evolutionism or communism can rightly be considered Antichrist. So I would say it is both individuals and institutions that deny that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Okay, thank you very much. You got it.